Every FGO NA servant as of January 1st, 2023. In a nutshell. <laughs> everybody's least favorite C-tier Greek hero. Why yes, I do have him grilled, why do you ask? Where did your eyebrows go? Brock from Pokemon, if he lifted at Gold's Gym instead of the Pewter City Gym. If I had a nickel, for every horny three-star saber who is terminally afraid of a significant woman in their life, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice, right? Mans is so goddamn loyal that he defies reality by literally walking into the dimension at the end of time in order to return the planetary master sword to Simba. Artoria, if she never grew out of her My Chemical Romance phase, definitely asks to see the manager at Burger King when they run out of the crowns. Artoria, if she was precious, and also Luke Skywalker. Hey, remember that well-developed and nuanced character from the Fadexer universe? Yeah, neither do the writers. One of the most iconic characters in Germanic myth is reduced to Sea Dragon, Kill Dragon, Siegfried Smash! If I had a nickel for every ambiguously gendered French servant in this game, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's rare that it's happened twice, right? Major Hindu deity is constantly cucked by Arcade because somebody at Delightworks really likes NTR. The guy that probably cucked Rama is also Mashu's dad. The sun is a deadly laser. Okay. Elizabeth Bathory became a Dragon Quest protagonist. Yaru Fox Spirit, I think? Frain becomes literate and forgets what a swimsuit is. Depressed horny weebs rejoice. Old man learns how to sit down. Depressed horny weebs rejoice. Nasu's wife who attempts to seduce an entire island, despite not even being the fourth hottest servant in this event. Literally who? Twink takes off his mask and, um... I'm sorry, what was I saying? Indian Jean d'Arc. Local Oni wife bought an Oculus Rift exclusively to play Beat Saber. Virgil. I just finished Heian Kyo, and I already forgot everything about the Mushroom Top jackass. Rocky Balboa if he was Santa Claus and also an Indian demigod. Despite never appearing in a main story chapter, Saber privilege keeps her as the face of the franchise. Hey, remember the interesting character from the Excel games? Yeah, neither do the writers. The Red Ranger if she was fucking adorable. One of the two well-written characters in Apocrypha who is actively improved by being an FGO. Don't get used to it. FGO's attempt at milking money out of depressed horny weebs and putting Nero in a bridal gown proves to be rather successful. What do you mean this came from CCC? The center of all reality is a playable character. She is also a bunny. Rora no Azoro if he was also the girl that leapt through time. Man's hopped over from an abandoned project in real life in order to find and kill the Beast of Revelation. Sigma grind set. Siegfried if he was both A, happily married, and B, useful. <laughs> <laughs> Estolfo goes from being a writer to a saber. Don't make the joke. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. What in the Digimon evolution is this? You know what? I don't even care this one cost me well over three paychecks worth of St. Quartz. He's hot and he's daddy. <laughs> Professional babysitter has a part-time job as a tactical nuke. Siscon simps so hard he literally kills himself in order to give her super strength. Trojan Child wants vengeance, so he forms a pact with a non-Eldritch God to get superpowers. Hey, remember that well-developed character from the Extra Universe? Yeah, so do the writers, surprisingly enough. Minor Greek Goddess slash Gorgon Sister is a big fan of To Catch Predator. Today's target, the Gawain boss from Camelot. Local Jewish man has a harem and a sling. Child. Not a child. Hey, buddy. Want to buy a barrel of rice? Nobody's favorite character from Lost Belt 4. President of the should have been a five star club. The cat girl from Apocrypha before the My Chemical Romance phase. Okay, imagine Gate of Babylon. Now replace it with muskets. Now make her Deadpool. Sad Heart Boy plays Despacito and kills Arash. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Jailbait exists in the realm of Schrodinger's canon. Shiro if his element was gun instead of sword and his favorite band was bringing the horizon. Local cultist grandma takes her super soakers to the illogical extreme. Local Oni wife refuses to NTR her definitely not dead husband. FGO's version of Altera finally gets a personality and a sheep. Having eyes that cause things to bend and break qualifies you as an archer. Apparently. Wait, you can just not be half horse? Do you like flip a switch or Hot Wheels? Castle Princess takes up Airsoft in order to procrastinate her deadlines. Intergalactic Cheerleader is the only sane one in Saber Wars 2. Santa if he was a she and had a vaccine machine gun. The only child I will protect because somebody has to keep her safe around this goddamn fandom. Limited five star my ass. This guy gets more reruns than Hallmark movies at Christmas. The teddy bear is a pervert and his bitch wife has to keep him in line. Shooting lightning out of a Tesla coil qualifies you as an archer. Apparently. Local Hindu demigod wields an ancient tactical nuke in the name of killing his brother. Arturia, if she was really good at Blitzball from Final Fantasy X. Diet Rin. Old man is old and has a machine gun in his coffin. Daddy? I'm not gonna do the bit. Daddy, 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 daddy. daddy, daddy.
Throwing dolphins and whales at your opponent qualifies you as an archer. Apparently. Me click red button. Me punch. Crit. Big damage. Red button. Good. I mean, I already made the obvious joke in every event in a nutshell, so yeah, just go watch that instead. Yeah. Woo! Everybody hates the monk. Hey, wait a minute! This is fun! Golly gosh, G, I can't wait for all the fun- no! Golly gosh, G, I can't wait for all the fun times with Gareth and Lost Belt 6! Ha ha! 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 Vice President of the Should Have Been a Five Star Club. Man's hopped over from an abandoned project in real life because... He's cool? I guess? Founder of Rome has a part-time job as a member of the Adeptus Custodes. Local chain smoker has a spear that he can throw really hard. Diet coup. But at least he's hot. Never forget what the Babylonia anime kept from us. Bald man is introduced to the main story literally just to die. I feel no man, but that thing, it scares me. Why did the altar appear first in the main story? The second most buff servant in the entire game is still a third-rate lancer with, with a fourth-rate fourth rate deck. deck. One of the few servants summoned from the modern era is best known for aggressively poking you with a really long stick. Who gave the yandere a glaive? Diet Vlad. Wait, let me try that again. Put the pencil down. Step one, try not to cry. Step two, fail. Step three, cry, cry a lot. Your stepmom is a schoolgirl who gets off on using her bong stick. Sakura got her very own Ishtar-esque pseudo-servant, and in classic Sakura fashion, it's a four-star. Why do we still not have Sun Wukong and Fate Grand Order? Okay, imagine the quintessential quintuplets. Now take out your two least favorites. Banana Oni has a stick. Panda Enthusiast has Chun-Li thighs, and I love them very much. Kill, 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 murder, death, kill, 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 stab, kill. Penguin Enthusiast is also a professional ice skater. Went from wanting to kill their ex-boyfriend to wanting to kill us for killing their ex-boyfriend. Character development. Who made the Grim Reaper fucking adorable? You are literally a vampire! How are you this bad at surviving horror movie cliches? If you didn't have a sensei fetish, you definitely do now. Local Hindu demigod is also surprisingly chill. And the sun. Yandere wants to kill anything and everything until her husband comes back with the milk and cigarettes. The Lion King, not that one. Foot dive! 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 Clay. Best goddess, best Rin, and best lancer. I will die on every single one of these hills. The S isn't even that good, I'll say it. It's like 4 out of 10. It's flat as fuck. Pretty sure I have a better dumpy than that. Deus Ex Roma somehow exists and qualifies as a grand. Cool. Local evil Hindu dragon has a part-time job as the Grinch that stole Christmas. Pirate Playboy has about as much shame as a pre-character arc Tony Stark. Local Dragon Slayer works as both a professional scrapbooker and as Heracles' solo fodder. Fuck this stupid motherfucking bastard pirate son of a bitch. Fuck what? Good character, though. Snick. British Queen of Victory never actually won anything. Best Tengu, frontrunner for best girl, and easily the best part of the Babylonia adaptation. The type Lumina design is better. Don't fucking at me. This Kandar before he got swollen and sexist. So, let me get this straight. You fused Lu Bu and his horse, and this is what you got? Hachiman from Oregairu, but he isn't a completely unapologetic asshole to the people closest to him for at least two seasons. Soon to be headless queen of France is an expert on modern lingo. Best saint is in dire need of anger management classes. You know, the fact that I forgot about Marion Reed in the original Writers in a Nutshell video feels about right, considering the devs also forgot about them. Salter attempts to buy the friendship of the good people of Caldea with a roughly 50% success rate. Everyone's favorite femboy also has a hippogriff. This is never explained. Rida's himbo becomes Johnny Blaze and learns how to obey traffic laws. Like surfs up, bro! Diet Rin's swimsuit is somehow less revealing than her normal outfit. How to train your dragon. Wife. Carmilla went from being everybody's least favorite starting four-star to being everybody's absolute favorite starting four-star. The nerdy librarian still has massive titties. That's pretty much it. Bad bitch does bad bitch things because she's a bad bitch. Celtic dominatrix uses the power of horny to bend an entire nation to her will. Post timeskip Alexander does a little bit of sexism because it's funny. Egyptian Diobredo is still low-key pissed off about his brother inventing the Emancipation Proclamation. Aztec Sun Dragon becomes a luchador because she thought it would be neat. Absolute masterclass in how to appeal to two different fetishes at the same time. Surprisingly chill dictator is also an elephant. Clearly. Frat boy really needs to get a better pair of shoes. Rich bitch that you think would just be a pompous asshole is actually incredibly endearing. 
I really liked Case Files. La Leonardo da Vinci is introduced into the main story way too quickly, and it should have been after Gata Damarung. I swear to God, I will explain in a future video and it will make sense, trust me. Your and everybody else's grandma is also really cute. Greek Gundam pilot, for some reason, taking do-it-yourself to its illogical extreme. World famous composer teaches an eggplant the meaning of life through bantering with a soon to be headless queen of France, Danish Shoda Dio Brando, one of the apocryphal characters who's actively made worse by appearing in FGO. You have friends, I have portable tactical nukes. We are not the same. The most underrated character from the original Fate Stay Night gets next to no screen time, and I hate everything about it. Average Jalter Dojin artist. It's just coup, but a caster. Yep, nothing else to see here, no sir. The Joker, if he was also an avatar of Sneech. Teet Snitch? Snitch? Whatever. That one. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. Gundam, but steam powered. You know, the fact that I forgot about Geronimo when I did the original Casters in a Nutshell video feels about right, considering literally everybody also forgot about Geronimo. When given the choice between therapy and a really large man, there's a pretty clear winner. Average post COVID hospital worker, Elizabeth II, Electric Boogaloo. Please, I am begging give like half of lily's screen time to regular medea she can she can afford it she's been at like seven events and like three different please please i'm begging you I, this, i'm on my knees please book turns into child turns into child holding book remember when the siege area 51 memes were a thing yeah this is the one that actually got in the lion who is a king still not that one step one try not to cry step two fail step three cry cry a lot. Lady Pharaoh has imposter syndrome and really nice thighs. Soon to be headless queen of France is moderately okay at Blitzball from Final Fantasy X. Disaster gay Rock Howard. Odysseus's jealous ex-girlfriend got fired from her job as a high school chemistry teacher and is also a bird. Sanest capitalist. Somehow the homunculus with the personality of a stale wet towel is the most interesting Siegfried. Sanest Disney adult. The blue one who might or might not be the goddess of her own universe finally decided to stop killing herself. Average overworked and underpaid teacher. Fox Mommy, who definitely isn't a god. The lamest character from Journey to the West has a mean palm heel strike. Sanus historical painter. No, really. Put the pencil down, all of you. Dick Wizard of the Round Table has a part time job as a VTuber. Fanatophobia. Roman Emperor assumes a power stance to summon her laser cannon theater. Local Russian Duchess kills her enemies using the power of her Cryomancer teddy bear. Thank God the artist for Skahawk and Scotty drew a diagram showing the difference in the angle of their nipples. They are the size of her head! Best girl. By a goddamn mile. Humanity destroying threats are just really big swallows. Billy Dancer uses the power of Horny to overthrow governments. The unseen is the blade. The guy who asked all the girls, hey, where's my hug, right before summer break. Sanus to nobleman, partially because he decapitated all of the other noblemen. Biggest coomer since Rent-A-Girlfriend. Who turned Bo Wright Show into an anime girl? Man hopped over from the prequel to an abandoned project in real life because the plot demanded it. Even in the story chapter designed to give personality to all the Hassans, she still manages to be the boring one. Hentai protagonist with the side order of an Oedipus complex. The one covered in poison is somehow not our most toxic stalker. You know, the fact that I forgot about Izo when I did the original Assassins in a nutshell video, I don't got an excuse for that one, I'm just a dumbass. Uriah Lee, if she was everybody's least favorite spook. Headmistress for the Haha ha Funny Castle website. Courtney Sligu died and came back to life so he could kill a cup. If you somehow didn't have a sensei thing before, you definitely do now. Literally who? Assassin Edition. Okay, she's not even a badly written character, but like, why does she look like she's eight? Best Pharaoh puts on a swimsuit and is somehow showing less skin. Unlike Diet Rin, she is somehow even hotter. Snake Poison Ninja Lady in fishnets. Robomom! Best Tengu helps Jalta write her doujins. Have some marinara. The Vampire Senpai went from trying to kill you to passively thinking about killing you to tolerating your presence. Character Development. Okay, so Medusa Lily gets a scythe and qualifies as a lancer, but Grey gets a scythe and qualifies as an assassin. That doesn't seem fair. The Red Ranger becomes a cripple, so she gets a jetpack installed to fight crime before she dies. Put the pencil down. Let's just give her pants, then go ahead. Average cup noodle enjoyer. Alcoholic king of the Oni likes to fuck with Kentoki. And fuck Kentoki. Okay, story time. I rolled for her on a whim during one of the Thanksgiving banners because I needed a five-star AoE assassin, and I got NP2 in one roll. The Danganronpa snake lady likes me, and I am afraid for my life. Grandpa wants to behead all of his kids because none of them are as good as being Dark Souls bosses as he is. That princess neat lady has deadlines, and like any good content creator, she waits until the very last minute before working on them. <coughs> very whelming character from Apocrypha is a very whelming character in FGO. 
Old man does one inch punch. Depressed horny weebs rejoice. Put the pencil down. Average 4chan user when their post with half a dozen slurs is taken down by the mods. Like most furries, very chill unless provoked. I don't have the energy to fight anymore, just please stop being weird. Roman Emperor screams at the moon and eventually becomes literate. Ah yes, Eric Bloodaxe, the Bloodaxe King, wielder of a bloody axe. Abrahamic Harlot, I think? Without a doubt, the most iconic Chinese historical figure is, of course, a three star. This is the ideal elephant body. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Iron Man Mark 1, if he had a glaive he used to drink his opponent's blood. Ace of these should have been a 5 star club. Berserker is always the strongest. Rabid Dog of the Round Table overcomes being French to become a fighter pilot. Bark. <laughs> Sanest Berserker, but like, actually though. Banana Oni is a tier 5 sub to Shuten's OnlyFans. I want it to be over and done with. I'm tired, Sanest CEO, just don't bring up Achilles. Poor color pretty. Local warlord puts on a bikini to learn Metallica riffs. The cat girl from Apocrypha during the My Chemical Romance phase. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Dinosaur King is what you wanna be, yeah. Local Yandere wife finally found her husband and decides to go on vacation with him to celebrate. Motherfucker went from a D-tier character to an A-tier character in the span of one main interlude. The cooler Vlad Tepes. Psychopathic Nurse receives well over half her fan art from HXD. They are all amazing. The most overdesigned bastard in the history of the game. I'll take four. Your Oni slaying stepmom gets bullied by Shuten and is shipped with Kentoki for some reason. Darth Vader if he was a she and she was terminally addicted to chocolate. That's my secret cat. I'm always in. Horse cock. Local Hindu demigod becomes a real god as he destroys the known universe multiple times over for fun. Musashi embraces her Westabu nature to star in almost as many doujins as Jerker. Almost. Eggplant Kohai does her very best Captain America impression. Eggplant Kohai does her very best Captain America impression. Oculus edition. Best Saint takes a much needed vacation so she can punch her enemies to death with her dragon. Aztec Sun Dragon becomes Santa to become Rey Mysterio. Greek Justice Goddess becomes Brock Lesnar. French Jean d'Arc. Shiro Kodamine does his very best Vegeta impression, despite being absolutely none of those things. Funny bastard detective man. Chinese David Bowie, but a moth. Thank you, thank you, I know, I'm a comedic mastermind. Blackjack Dealer knows exactly how to ensure that the house wins. Japanese Jean d'Arc. Angry Mango is abysmal at fighting other servants, yet he is somehow a top three entity in the Nestovers at killing humans. For the love of God, I don't understand how this works. Ah yes, I too like killing my competition. Literally. Beak snick. The Headless Horseman is a really good emotional support animal for a widowed wolf. Roa's biggest hater lives inside our head, literally rent free. One of the top five best written characters in FGO also has a top five pair of tits. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Han Solo is also Darth Vader, is also the center of her known universe. I think? Sadistic Kohai is a bitch to everybody, especially Kiara. Sadistic Kohai is a bitch to everybody, especially Jerker. Lazy Satru hibernates through a time loop for like 4,000 years or something. Nun uses the power of swimsuits to break the Caldean summoning system. Jesus Christ! None uses the power of horny to consume the planet. Something, something, Majin, Bimu. Yeah. Woo! Literally, Ilya. Big. Everybody hates the monk. So, why in the name of fuck did they make him so hot? Unemployed space cop subscribes to the naked gun method of upholding the law. Dude, pancakes, Lamau. Japanese squid painter and his daughter have a bond so strong they're inexplicably immune to Eldritch mind control. Why is a satellite the same racist eldritch subclass as the demon painters? <sighs> Socially anxious schizophrenic sunflower enthusiast gets taken advantage of by an outer god in a desperate attempt to drown the main party in an ocean made up entirely out of sleep paralysis demons. <laughs> Outro speech? Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, man, I just want to say thank you to everyone. I've I've started in restarted this part of the video multiple times and I think what I just want to say is thank you to everyone who has stumbled across this channel and just watched all the videos and everyone that's left a comment everyone's left a like you know anyone that's you know just been joking around in the comments about you know what about x servant or anyone that's 
leave in just any kind of like positive feedback like thank you uh, that energy means a lot to me um i do read every single comment so and going back and watching over all eight of these videos for the supercut project just kind of made me you know realize this started off as something that i wasn't expecting to turn into anything and it's very rapidly becoming something that you know might be might be more um so i just want to say thank you guys for you know helping me give me an outlet for my creative and just anything like working on these videos has just been a very positive impact on my life because i know that you guys are getting excited for them so um gonna wait for the next fgo video until after lost belt 6 finishes on the na server so until then uh i do have two other big video projects lined up that are going to be still the same like blitz pace editing uh so if you enjoy that please stick around please subscribe so that you don't miss those but um if you just if you only watch for the fgo stuff then come back in after <laughs> lost belt 6 is done and we'll uh see you then but uh Whenever you guys watch the next video, thank you much for everything. It truly means the world. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. You depressed, horny weebs.